This is my wife. She's loving, caring, and has a big heart. Through our nine years of marriage, I watched her struggle with her drug addiction that she so desperately wanted to get away from, but the detox was just too painful. We came across the Morph device, and they told us that it worked without any drugs. After her not having drugs on the second day, I started filming because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. She was not having any pain while she was detoxing. I filmed her once a day for 17 days, and you can see the change in her. This device saved my wife and my family. Maybe it can save yours, too. Okay, so we're doing really well detoxing mm -hmm. off of the level of methadone that you were on for how many years? For almost six, and, and I would agree absolutely that we are. So for six years, you were on? Um, I went from um, 60 to 50. 60 milligrams? 60 milligrams. Down to, to 50 milligrams? Yes. How long were you on 60 milligrams? Um, I would say for the past four or five years. Four to five years you were on 60 milligrams. Yes. And then when did you dose down to 50 milligrams? Um, I had my doctor dose me down and he dosed me down I when I first started. Um, I went up very increased my dose um, all the way to about 100. Okay. okay. So your maximum dosage that you had been on was 100 milligrams? Yes. You and he dropped me one time and I said never again will I, I go through that much of a okay decrease. so you went from 100 milligrams yes. down to 60 down to 50 and the 50 milligrams was when you were getting ready to go on the device yes okay so how long was that like a week or a couple of days um I have been on six, 60 to 50 for a couple of days yes okay so I'm just gonna put you know seven to 14 days. Yes. Okay. Prior to this, up here on mm -hmm. your history, prior to the six years on methadone. Yes. What was your history prior to that? Um, prior to that, I was a prescription opiate user. Um, I was never a heroin user. I was never a street user. Um, I pretty much took everything orally, um, other than when I switched to Roxy's and then, um, I began to snort them, okay. honestly. What would you call Roxy? What is that? A Roxy is an Oxycontin 30 milligram. I mean, that's not the real Tablet. Name. And that is the real, it's, that's what it is. And the reason they get Roxy's is because it is easier to crush up and snort. Okay. So how long was your drug history? Um, it started at 13. So 13 years old. Yes. Through what? Um, I'm 31. So to 31. So if I do the math and I'm going to subtract 31 minus 6, that gives me 25. So from 13 years old to age 25, that was a 12 year history. So you had a 12 year history of doing prescription drugs and then a six-year history of using methadone. People who know my wife knows that she has a, had a drug addiction and she was on methadone and she's been on methadone for a few years. But now there's this thing that came out. She's been off of methadone for two days now. It's a little electronic device that goes on the back of your neck. They tape it to it and it it's a little metal thing that goes into your nerves and it stops your drug addiction. She's been off of methadone for two days now. And how do you feel, Ashley? I feel wonderful. 
I have energy I've never had before. I feel like I'm a normal person. Like, in the mornings before, I have to go to the methadone clinic every single morning. I feel like I'm six years old. And until the medicine hits me, um, I don't feel like myself. And then once it hits me, I feel normalized. Right now, I feel completely normal. I have no tremors, I have no nausea, um, I have no cravings to go to the methadone clinic. Um, my cravings for cigarettes have changed, I'm happy, um, I slept very well. Um, all the problems that you catch when you DT off of methadone, I haven't had a single one other than a little bit of warmness and nausea last night. But that's to be considered because I've been on the methadone clinic for five years. And that's what I'm saying. And you know, if anybody knows anything about methadone, they know that two days of not taking your methadone, you will not look like this. No, you would be, I would be on this floor in my bathroom sweating, puking on myself, having vomiting, diarrhea, goose flesh. Um, insomnia, anxiety, um, and a rehab wouldn't even take me okay. in the state of Louisiana until I was dropped down to 10 milligrams. Um, and I advise anybody who is trying to get off of methadone to at least walk in that clinic and hear what they have to say because it's life changing. All right, today is day six with Ashley with no methadone. Ashley, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. Um, I had some restless leg syndrome. Like I said, I was going to keep it real. Um, a little bit of achiness. I woke up at 3.30 this morning. A little, little, little restlessness. Um, I got in the tub, made myself feel better washing my hair which was a process because having this on you have to be very careful of not getting it wet all right today is day seven ashley how are you feeling hey y'all um i'm doing pretty good um like i said the last night i woke up about five o'clock both my feet were jumping like when you have restless leg syndrome Methadone is one of the hardest things to get off of out of all the addictions because it takes one of the longest to get out of you. So the seven to 12 days that I have to go through is gonna be the most severe. I do feel a little bit weak, honestly. Um, and I know that has to do with my habitualness of eating. It's been very hard for me to eat. Um, with this device on, um, it cur curves all cravings, including cigarettes, um, addictions, wanting to go and use. Um, so because of that, um, I haven't been able to eat as much, but I've been forcing myself to eat. Also, um, the thing about the device, okay, and I want to answer this honestly, um, it does crave some, it does take the cravings away. It does take the anxiety away, but not all of it, okay? The severe symptoms that you'd be normally going through during this process, um, what it does to that is it normalizes it out to about a three out of 10, okay? So you're not on the floor throwing up. You're not, um, you know, wanting to go and habitually use or find something else to supplement. Um, I, I'm weak. It, it's hard for me to get around right now. I, I will be honest about that, but that's part of this process. Your body has been toxified for me. It was six years that I toxified myself with this methadone. I was on 50 milligrams at the time 
when they put this device on me, but through my duration of the methadone clinic, I had been up to 100 at one point. I dropped down um, and I was able to drop down very, uh, I would say it took me about a year to get from 100 to 60. For me, I was never a, a habitual heroin user. I was a habitual prescription user. So it's a little different for me. Um, whereas somebody who shoots up or snorts or does prescription drugs where they're used to putting pills in their mouth to supplement, that's the habitualness of it. That's when you have to go through cognitive therapy to learn that that can no longer be something that that urges you, that needle. You get a rush automatically in your brain, your, your brain will start releasing dopamine when it knows it's going to get that heroin. Okay, you get that heroin and then by putting it in your arm, okay, you're getting a rush off of the fact that you're putting it in a needle, okay? That right there is a trigger. It is, oh my gosh, I, I, I need something, okay? And, oh, I can get it? Oh, I can get it now? Oh, wonderful, dopamine. Dopamine receptors in your brain automatically start releasing opiate, okay? Because you know right then and there you're going to get it, okay? So you, you start to get a little rush, okay? And then it builds up once you get it, and then you get it, and then you, you put it in a needle, and you put it in your arm, and you see how quickly you feel better. Okay, so it becomes a habit, and it's a habit you have to break. You have to realize that not only is this an addiction from the drug, but the habitualness of using whatever and however you use it, it's, it is, becomes part of the lifestyle of it. The fact that you're going to your friend's house to get it, the fact that your friends use it. You have to change your environment. You have to change the fact that you know in your brain that when you put that in your mouth that you're going to feel better. And that is what your brain tells you, okay? All that is something you have to deal with during the process of detox and afterwards because this is a whole therapy. This is not just something that is a quick fix. It, it, it isn't. It isn't for anybody who has done this to themselves for years. It's just not, okay? Um, I'm so grateful that they finally came out with this device I have on me because I wouldn't be sitting here right now enjoying the view of the water if I could not have this device on. I would have to be in a hospital. I would have to be in a 28-day program and they wouldn't want me in a 28-day program because of the fact that I might endanger the other people in that program because of how severe it is to come off of methadone. Okay, that, hey, I might call somebody while I'm on a Walmart trip just getting toiletries during the 28-day process. And if you've been to a rehab, you know what, what I mean when I say that. They let you out to go get certain things for yourself to make sure that you're able to, to help yourself through this process and in doing that a lot of people fail a lot of people will go out during that period of time and i've seen it because i've been to rehabs 
okay? This is not the first time that I've been through something like this. I've been to rehabs, I've been to a hospital, okay? This is the best thing I have seen that I can actually sit in my own house and wear without severe symptoms. Absolutely. Feels good to get your ear wiped off. <laughs> What's wrong? What you thinking, babe? Just thinking. About what? Okay. Yeah. Right now I am. You anxious? A little anxious. Why? It's just um, changing out the device makes me a little bit anxious. Because um, I. <laughs> I don't know the severity of the symptoms I'm about to feel. Nausea. How bad? Mm, two. Okay. On a zero to ten scale? Oh uh, no, a zero to four scale. Okay. Hey y'all, it's day ten, um, or day nine. And it definitely is obvious that I'm going back into a methadone withdrawal after two hours, so we're putting it back on. Okay. All right, today is 10, Ashley, day 10, the big 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> I know. I feel like I'm almost halfway there, halfway over the big hump, you know. Um, How are you feeling? You got to answer it. I'm feeling pretty good today. It's early in the morning. I definitely um, feel better than I did yesterday. Um, I felt some of the severities after about two hours of the device being off. Um, and initially, when I was going into it, I was a little bit anxious. I know that I was scared to even have it taken off. I noticed within the, with the second they took it off, the withdrawals, I could see it on your face, the withdrawals. Mm -hmm. like, it seemed like the immediate second they took it off. That's why I was a little bit nervous. And let me go into why that probably happened. Um, is because I was anxious and then when it came off, it's, it's a, a signal that's sent to your brain. So it, when this is taken off, um, immediately certain symptoms will be observed. Um, so I already knew that was going to happen, honestly. So, um, and I started exhibiting, I would say, mild symptoms um, uh, until about 30, 35 minutes into it. And I, then I, I suggested to them, hey, let me get a bite to eat because I know my system. No, no person knows their system better than themselves, obviously. Um, 
and I went and got a bite to eat. No quicker did I get a bite to eat did I come back in that clinic and they looked at my face and said, it's time to put the new one on. And I said, yes. Guess what? <laughs> what? Today's my day 17. <laughs> and we are on the way to the doctor right now. I feel a lot better. Um, thank goodness. And I'm starting the new phase of my treatment, which I had told everyone was cognitive behavioral therapy. And I finally am done with this whole phase, and I'm thanking God for that. Um, thank you, my super hubby, for standing by my side through all this. He's pretty super. I promise you he's pretty super. All right, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Your hair is everywhere. That's okay. Here. We're out by the water, baby. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wait, okay. Let's start it from how we did it. All right. Ashley, wait, today is day 71. Day 71 this without any kind of drugs at all. Ashley, how are you feeling? Sober. Um, great. We just got back from Florida visiting with my mom. We had a good visit. Um, started back to work and got a second job um 71 days clean off of everything everything um including the methadone um i really do feel like the morph device worked for me as an individual i feel a lot better so i thank everybody that stayed tuned through all these videos um and i definitely think that with everything going on nowadays more people need to become aware not only of addiction but of the fact that your family doesn't that we need to have more of a allowance for individuals to come and feel comfortable with their family members and counselors and friends if we could all just open up and be more compassionate about this subject, more people would be able to get help. So that is pretty much why I've continued to do these videos and I put myself out there. It's because I think that way. So thank you. That's it? Yes. Say goodbye. Day 71. Day 71. Proud of you, my baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a quick kiss. Okay.